Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Doty from Southern California. In these days, we've got our fair share of fires and earthquakes. And sadly, there's the devastating hurricanes in the Southeast. It's a powerful reminder that we need to be ready for anything. Today, I wanna to share the most essential tips to ensure our pets are safe and secure during a natural disaster. First, be sure you have enough food and water for at least three days for your entire family, including your furry friends. Check out these large BPA-free storage tanks. They're perfect for storing water and can keep your family hydrated in a crisis. Now let's have some fun filling it. Remember to refresh your water supply every six months. It's essential for keeping everyone healthy and you can have some fun doing it. Next, think about transport. A sturdy crate is crucial for moving your pet safely and provide shelter if needed. Collapsible crates are fantastic because they're easy to store and transport. A collapsible crate for a small dog that pops open into this. It's decent enough to store a pet that's not unruly, so you'll wanna train your pet to accept a crate. Remember, many shelters do not take pets, so it's important that you have a place to secure and keep them safe. Make sure to have at least a week's worth of medication set aside, along with copies of your pet's medical records. This can be vital if you need to seek help during an emergency. It's also wise to prepare a letter for your neighbors. This letter should release them from responsibility if your pet is injured while you're not home and it needs veterinary treatment so they can take it in and get it treated. It ensures your pet is cared for in your absence. And finally, please ensure your pets are microchipped or identified somehow. I was on the emergency duty during the Northridge earthquake and many pets panicked and escaped, jumping through plate glass windows even, often without identification. A microchip is the best way to keep get your pet home safely. Tags are good, but they can get caught on things. Head over to our blog for additional insights on pet disaster readiness and help with perhaps a letter you might wanna draft. It's linked below in the comment. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others and help them stay prepared too. Thanks so much.